In Somalia's Dolo, Bashir Nur Salat is on a mission. There was no breakfast this morning, nor dinner last night. But now the 11-year-old and his friends have their sights set on lunch. To get that, they need to sneak into the Kabasa Primary School, where meals are provided to students as a part of a UN-supported program. I'm so hungry. I lie down and I can't sleep. Sometimes they give us food and sometimes they do not give us anything. Somalia is struggling with its worst drought in 40 years, after four consecutive rainy seasons failed. The UN says at least 448 children have died since January while being treated for acute malnutrition. That's likely to be a fraction of the true number of deaths. Bashir, his eight siblings and mother Halima Ibrahim Mahdi arrived in Dolo three months ago. Their goats and cattle had been reduced to scorched bones scattered over the cracked earth. Halima says they've never seen a drought like this and never before been forced to leave their land. The family are among six million Somalis, that's more than a third of the population, relying on emergency food aid to survive. Abdirahman Abdishakur Wasame, Somalia's special envoy for drought, says action is needed to prevent a famine. I see that the international community are paying, particularly the Western nations, are paying more attention to the Ukraine than the other, other crises or other, you know, and, and, and like so, Somali droughts. Dolo is one of Somalia's safest towns and therefore best served by international aid. Kabasa Primary gets 41 cents per student a day to provide two meals, but at least 50 extra children arrive each day hoping for food. Torn between duty to their pupils and the crisis outside the school's walls, teachers sometimes push the arrivals away, sometimes turn a blind eye. Bashir dreams of going to school. He says he wants to learn every language, work for an international organisation and have a big car. On this day at least, he managed to get a meal. But this was also the last day of lessons. With school now closed for two months, Hungrier times lie ahead.